Hi and welcome to this new video and in this video what I'm going to be doing is having a look at axial rolls and flat yaw spins because on a quad we have camera angle and that camera angle makes it very difficult to do an axial roll or a yaw spin. Well I shouldn't say really difficult but it makes it hard to understand how you might achieve it and what I'm going to do in this video is show you exactly why your quad does what it does and exactly why you see what you see and then how you fix that so that you do a perfect flat spin or a perfect axial roll. So we're going to start off with having a look at what happens if you just use roll so I've got a 45 degree camera angle as you can see there and I'm just going to use roll to roll the quad and I see the ground and then I see the horizon come back again and obviously I turned upside down in that so I lost quite a bit of height as well so if I do it again I see the ground and then I see a level horizon again okay so let's take a look at what is going on when that happens so I'm just gone to line of sight mode by pressing F I'm going to press R to reset the quad close to me I'll press T to turn off the trail because I don't want the trail getting in the way of showing what's going on here I'm just going to bring this quad in quite close. Come here. And there, that will probably do. Actually, no, that's not really good. Let's just drop that down a little bit. Right, I'm using the W key just to lock it in place so it's holding its height. So, as you can see, if I set my camera angle here, if I set my quad angle here to about 45 degrees, you can see the lens of the camera here is pointing straight forward so there's about a 45 degree angle on this lens in the quad so when the quad is at 45 degrees ish we see a level horizon now watch, hap watch what happens when I roll if I just use roll so as I roll upside down you can see that the camera because the camera angle points almost directly at the ground pointing down here and if I roll the right way up again my horizon comes back to level so that's why we see the ground and then we see a level horizon when we roll so if I press F to go back to FPV mode and press W just to release the quad and M to get my sticks back up again how do we fix that how do we do an axial roll well we actually used have to use roll and your together in order to achieve an axial roll and the way we do that is we move either both sticks out towards the edge of the radio or both sticks together towards the middle of the radio so we do one towards the outside first you can see there we go a nice axial roll go back the other way both sticks out nice axial roll and then we'll do one with sticks together as well so Flying along, sticks together, nice axial roll. So let's have a look at what's happening when we do that. So I press F to go to line of sight, R to reset the quad nice and close. And we'll just get this a little bit closer so we can see what's going on with it. Up a bit. There, that'll do, right. So Let's just line this up. So there we go. So now we've got our angle on. And if I push, if I give it left yaw and right roll, so it sticks outwards, you'll see what happens. If I get this nice. There we go. You can see we're actually rolling around the axis of the camera. It's actually not a very clean roll, that one. So let's try again. There we go. That's a clean one. So you can see we're rolling around the axis of the camera by mixing roll and yaw together. So that's what's happening when we push the sticks out. And exactly the same thing happens when we push the sticks together. We roll around the axis of the camera. OK, so that's axial rolls. So what about yaw? So if we do a yaw spin. So let's do the same thing again. Let's just use yaw on its own. If I just use your, I see sky, and then I see a level horizon again. Okay, so let's just have a look and see what's going on when we use your. 
So F for line of sight, R to reset. Let's bring this back in reasonably close. I'm just going to drop it down from there a little bit. There, right. I'm using W to lock the quadding place if anyone's wondering about that. Right, so if I yaw this quad, you can see at the moment I've got a level horizon here. And as I yaw, I see a load of sky because the camera's pointing up now. And then as I roll back again to there, I see a level horizon. So sky, level horizon, sky, level horizon. So how do we fix that? How do we do a flat yaw spin? Well, let's unlock the quad, get our sticks back on. So for a flat yaw spin, you want to move the sticks together in the same direction. So flying like this, and then both sticks together to the right, and we do a flat yaw spin to the right. And we can do one to the left as well. So if we fly it along, and then both sticks to the left. Oh, a bit untidy those ones, but... Okay, quite nice. And okay, so you're spinning nice and flat. Okay, so let's have a look at what's going on when we do that. So F for line of sight. R to reset the quad to me. And let's just bring it over so I can see it. Right. So there's our quad kind of set up with a level horizon. So we can see the camera there is about horizontal. And if I move my sticks together in the same direction, you can kind of see... Oh, that's not, that's not very really good. Start again. there you see with both sticks pushed to the right we're rolling around the vertical axis of the camera so the camera is staying horizontal and we're just moving around the vertical axis of the camera and that's what moving both sticks together in either direction achieves is that roll or that it's not a roll i suppose it's a rotation around the horizontal axis of the camera the vertical axis of the camera, I should say, rotation around the vertical axis of the camera, like so. That's all that's happening. So that's your spin and axial roll and why you see what you see. And uh, that's it. I'll see you on the next video.